So uh, how did I come up with this? Everything's on YouTube nowadays. So I figured Marc Jacobs, glow stick, glistening, illuminator versus batting cages. What does that mean? I don't know. But we're just going to mix it up a little bit because it's my channel and I'll do what I want. Am I right? I know. All right. Let's go. <sighs> well, obviously this glare is just not going to be good for the video. Now is it? <sighs> Time to be blind. Hola amigos, I am here to finally do a video on my influencer box for Marc Jacobs, Beauty by Marc Jacobs. I decided to put a little twist on it. I'm just going to give you some information on it real quick. I did receive this free of charge for my honest review. Well, I open it up. There is the box. Marc Jacobs glue, glue stick. Yes, glue stick. Glow stick listening illuminator. Here's the packaging super cute so it comes in a little box like this which is super adorable i don't know if you can even see that without my ring light shining on it but there you go so this retails for 42 dollars, and you can't get this at sephora it says here it is a portable cream stick highlighter in a first ever universal shade for instant dewy payoff so when they say universal shade what comes to mind is for all shades of color people for all shades of people for all people of shades for all people of color. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Just it's universal, so it's good for everyone. Okay, all right. First time ever, glow stick glistening illuminator imparts a universal glow that flatters all skin tones. That's what I was trying to say. So it says glow stick glides on smoothly and effortlessly for the right dose of dewiness anytime, anywhere. Consider it your portable spotlight. It says here, uncap the glow stick and slightly roll up the creamy stick formula using a brush such as a shape contour brush. Uh, sweep it across the surface of the stick, then blend into the high parts of the face. You can also apply glow stick directly onto face, blending with brush or fingers. So since I'm too lazy to get a brush, I'm going to go ahead and do this with what God gave me. Fingers. Alrighty, so uh, that is the description. Here is the box. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, take it out. The packaging reminds me almost like a deodorant because it has a little like thing here that you twist. So I'm going to go ahead and open this baby up. So as you can see there, you can see it, it is, looks almost like deodorant. Okay, so I'm just going to roll this baby up. There's that. I'm going to go ahead and just test it out on my skin real quick, just so I can see how much I need to apply, just so I don't go overboard and look like I have light bulbs on both sides of my head. Ooh, so you can blend it out. That's just like one or two swipes that you can blend out. I guess you can see it a little bit. So your girl is wearing highlighter right now. So I'm just going to, I have just a, uh, you know, super fancy toilet paper. And I'm going to go ahead and just wipe this off and wipe off my makeup too because I don't care. This is just going to be a test. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put it on my nose as well, the tip of my nose, because that's where I usually put highlights. And my cupid's bow, so I'm just going to clean that off real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I've never used a creamy highlighter before, so this is going to be new for both of us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this baby to the bridge of my nose first. Just... See it? Do you see it? That's not the shininess of my nose. That is the dewy finish of this glow stick. Let's do that. I'm just going to blend that with my fingers. Wow, really dewy finish. All right. Ooh. See it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it came off. There, I just put a lot more. <laughs> put it on my cupid's bow. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side of my face. Okay, I guess I need to glide it. Oh, snaps. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, just Blend that baby in, just so that it looks like... Ooh! I don't know, I guess on camera in this light though. Damn! Highlight on fleek! I guess that's a good amount, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and blend this baby out. And I'm using my fingers because I just washed my hands, but you guys can use your brush. It does recommend to use your brush, you're not just automatically putting it all over your face but I mean can you see that snaps all right well I'm pretty glowy now and it's very heavy so I want to say that this has a lot of product in it I'm sort of scared to roll it up just because if I roll it up I might break it or something knowing me because I like to break stuff 
Alrighty, the second part of this video is I am going to be going to the batting cages and I'm going to knock out and relieve some stress because as you guys know from my channel, which is my vlogging channel, I will go ahead and there's a link down below in the description box. I do go to the batting cages quite often, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will report back to see. I mean, it doesn't necessarily claim to be sweat proof or long wearing, so I mean, I tried to look it up to see what it was claiming to be, but it just pretty much is like, you can touch up any time, which is the convenience of the glow stick glistening illuminator. So let us go to the bedding cages and I will check back with you. Or yeah, you're coming with me. Check back, come with, come with me, and we will see how, uh, how good this highlight works out all right okay all right well i am in natural light right now and can you see it don't ignore this pimple just ignore it but can you see it like can you see it it's like on the tip of my nose i don't know it's it is what it is i mean i think i've gotten more glow from the make it forever uh, sculpting duo, but that's just me. All right, well, I am on my way over to San Ramon Sports Center. And this is the aftermath of me batting cages. Yeah, I'm pretty disgusting. Ooh, it's so gross. All right, I need to get a napkin. Ugh, let me go to the car. Let me go to the car. I just tied my hair up because I was sweating so bad. I parked in the wrong spot because I'm against the sun. But honestly, like I still see the highlight. Like, let's be real. I, oh God, I'm so disgusting. I'm so disgusting. But you can see the highlight there. The highlight there. So yeah, like um, I went through six rounds of, I did, softball and then i also did baseball but the highlight held up and you can still see it like i don't know if you can it won't focus on there but i have some highlighter on my thing after patting my nose so yeah it's still there all right well i will see you guys later bye i'm so in a hurry to do this thing that i didn't even remove my purse well and let me take off my glasses had some bubble tea after i went to the batting cages good stuff Alrighty, so the verdict on this, I mean, you guys can see that I still do have highlight. I can especially see it out in the sun when the sun is just like beaming on my cheeks. I can for sure see it. This ring light does it a little bit of justice, but not all too much. And then I also did it on the nose. It disappeared, of course, on my cupid's bow because I like sweated and I had that upper lip sweat. But all in all, I'm pretty excited for this. I'll go ahead and use it again for the week to see how it fares with my skin because sometimes my skin breaks out. You guys have noticed I have had a couple of breakouts on my cheek and that's only because I tried doing the Nivea Post Shave Balm as a primer because it's a cheaper version, more affordable version, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I tried it out, but I want to say that that is the factor as far as why I'm breaking out so much. So I'm going to go ahead and take just stop with the Nivea Post Shape Balm to see if my skin will like me again because right now it's just hating me. But sorry, I just had to bring that to light because every time I turn here, you can just totally see just, you know, constellations of pimples. I actually really do like this. It is pretty steep for the price for something like this or for this at Sephora is about $42. So about half. I always think I'm like $50. I'm like, holy crap. So $50 plus tax. So it's pretty steep. If you don't need to spend the money or you don't have the means to spend the money, I wouldn't. But since I have it, I absolutely love it. I will report back if I have any allergic reactions to my skin or if I do break out more because of this. But I hope you guys like this video. I know it's something a little bit different, a little weird and wacky, but I just feel like everything on YouTube has been done. So in order to stand out, you have to do something different. So here you go. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, click that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!